How about now? Oh my god, wait. I think I can hear us now. You can hear us now? Yeah. I can hear us now. Hello, everyone. Now I can hear us. Oh, Marissa, you look what did that? you do? I'm not quite sure. I kicked something by mistake. Um, but it worked. But it worked. <laughs> Yay. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. I can hear us for like real time. I can't hear it, the backing track, though. But At all? No. I can hear it. Okay. So I can moderate the levels so from I'll here. I'll trust you. All right. Hello, everyone. It has been so long. It's been so long. So I am your one I'm Maura. And I'm your other I'm Marissa. And you are watching Eminem in the morning. Yeah, you are. Guys, this is crazy. Okay. So we don't know how long this is going to last for. We don't even know what the export sound sounds like, but... I feel like anyone is out there watching <laughs> us. Anybody... That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Otherwise, like, whatever. <laughs> whatever. We'll make it through. Like, you know, yeah. Well, uh, now that we're here, how you been? <sighs> I've been living my life. <laughs> good. Honestly, good. <laughs> um, you know, busy senior year. We graduate on Friday. It's 50 days to graduation. It's actually 49. Oh. Well, <laughs> close enough. <laughs> yep. It is. How nuts is that? That's insane. Time is a flying, uh, but we have a uh, two-minute track underneath us, yep. so we just have to keep playing it. I think we're not going to do it because I'm going to keep forgetting about it, and it's going to continue on to other songs. Okay. So it was nice while it lasted, yeah, well, but I, I it's really, over now. I really liked that track. That was nice. Maybe someday um, uh, Digiworks will work again, and we'll be able to play other tracks. Will we, though? Who really knows? Probably not. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're graduating soon. We only have... I don't know, maybe like five shows left, maybe? I think the whole year we've done a total of five. So. We have to cancel one of them because I have a program on Tuesday, on some Tuesday, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have maybe four shows left. <laughs> so um, we should get right into it then. Exactly. So Maura, give me some TV talk, would you? Okay, if you insist. So, Mar, mm -hmm. did you ever watch the Real Housewife shows? Uh, not really. Okay, well, first of all, get your stuff together oh your mom said morning girls hi, hi mars mom hi mom she's so cute she's washing the oh floors right now okay anyways so one of the people who was on real housewives was yolanda hadid mm -hmm. um you probably recognize the last name that is Gigi and bella's mom um Gigi, if you don't know who they are Gigi and bella are both models Gigi is dating zane yeah if you don't know who they are i'm really sorry google 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 everything, always. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, we first met them all through their mom on The Real Housewives show. And their mom was like a crazy, like, manager mom. Um, and she was the one that really, like, helped them get into the modeling and figure out, like, who was going to do photo shoots of them and who they were going to walk for and blah, 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 blah. So she was, like, their manager and their mom. But she did really good at it. Um, but it's just been announced that she will be hosting her own show on Lifetime because Lifetime is the only network where you could paint your freaking nails and you could still get a show. Absolutely. <laughs> That's where they make their money. Everyone is special. <laughs> um, but so her show is obviously going to be about modeling. But where it's different from the other modeling shows is that it's for both the model and then their mother. So she'll be taking young girls and their moms and like putting them through like a boot camp type thing mm. and at the end the model left will be signed onto like her company management whatever model stuff interesting um do you think that like Gigi and bella would make guest appearances i'm sure their mom would be like you have to be on my show i need to be popular and basically i want to have a second season exactly um I am not really sure how the show itself is going to work out. It's still very, very new. It was like legit just announced yesterday that this was happening. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm wondering if it will kind of be like ANTM where like they do photo shoots and stuff like that. But then like that would make sense for the models, obviously, because that's like how they get eliminated. Yeah. But my thing is like, what do the moms do? Like see who can sit there the longest and keep their mouth shut or and it's like um, they put them in a situation where like the photographer isn't like listening to the model or whatever. Yeah, or they maybe they something. like they have to work as like the manager, like they're the ones that have to find like a photo shoot for their mm -hmm. daughter each week or so on and so forth. Interesting. Um, 
but yeah, I'm, you know, as much as I hate to say it, I'll probably watch it. <laughs> yeah, of course you will. Of course I will. So, yeah, but... I'm excited. I think it'll be kind of cool, right? I mean, it, if there's never been a show like that before. Exactly. There's Okay, one time there was a show where it was girls and their moms, but they were um, pageant contestants, yes. and they had to do, like, pageant things with their parents. So, like, one episode was, like do swimsuits with your mom then another episode is like do your talent with your mom um but like this is obviously different uh, yeah and like modeling shows are big especially because of like American Snapchat model and all that stuff and kids are really into that so yeah hopefully it does well I hope so I don't know I feel like there's a lot of shows doing like one seasons yeah. happening right now yeah because we're just like exhausting all of our ideas yeah exactly nothing is new but also i think tv is just dying in general no one has time for it anymore and also no one like watches anything live yeah. like if anything people are people aren't paying for a cable subs subscription they're playing they're paying for like hulu or something like that and then watching it whenever they want to exactly or getting like a jailbroken amazon fire stick exactly or doing, doing like there. sling tv or something mm -hmm. like that like no one is sitting down and like paying for cable anymore well it's also too it's like the ideas aren't good enough either Exactly. It's like, why am I going to shell out a hundred plus dollars every month to watch frickin' Lethal Weapon be remade into a TV show? Like, exactly. no thanks. I'd rather just jump out a window. Same thing about with Taken, too. Oh, God. Yeah. It kills me. Uh, that's why we need to work in the industry, Mark, to make things new and fresh. Someone hire us. Someone hire us. Please, dear God, hire me. <laughs> um, okay. But moving on, remember uh, the last time we were on the air about 27 years ago, um, and I talked about the new show, The Arrangement? Yes. Okay, well, a couple episodes have happened, and I thought I'd give you a little review on it. Okay. Um, it is really not good. Oh, no! <laughs> so, in case you don't remember what it's about, I'll remind you. Um, it's about this girl who is an actress in Los Angeles, and she goes to audition for this role... And instead, and the role that she's, like, auditioning for is with this, like, huge, huge actor. Really famous, really popular, so on and so forth. Um, and she goes and she auditions, and the guy is like, oh, my God, like, I love you. Um, just like that. And so <laughs> instead of her getting the role in the movie, they instead offer her a contract of marriage to him to like act like they're dating and then they'll get married and then like they have everything laid out for like the rest of their lives in this contract and she's like yeah sure okay <laughs> which it does it in like an episode she because she's not done in one episode she was going to go away with her boyfriend then finds out he's cheating on her and then goes to this audition then sleeps with this guy and then <laughs> signs a contract to spend the rest of his her life with him I feel like marriage is a bit much. I feel like there should have been, like, a progression. Exactly. Well, they're not, like, married yet. Like, it's in the contract that they'll, like, date for this long, then they'll get married. But it's, like, a contract saying, like, you will be marrying this man. Wow. Um, but then on top of it, also, it's, like, uh, the guy follows this religion, which is basically, like, Scientology. You know how mm. all the famous people do Scientology? That's what this religion is. It's called, like, the... I can't remember it right now, but it's like the power of the mind. Um, of course it is. And so it's weird because, like, so the guy's manager and the head of this, like, religion type thing are married and they have like completely different views on everything like the manager is like oh my god I love that he's fake marrying this girl it gives him such a good like image and mm -hmm. then the leader of this church thing cult is like no <laughs> is actually Satan is actually <laughs> Rasputin from Anastasia <laughs> um, but yeah so I am just you know I mean, like, I'm still kind of watching it, seeing if it gets better, but it's just, like, there's nothing really going on. Like, it's a lot of them having sex, um, which is, I guess, is, like, you know, something. Okay, it has taken the spot of The Royals on E! for a okay. right now, since The Royals is off season. The Royals, one of my favorite shows. Yeah. And I think it's, like, trying hard to compete with that so people, like, continue to watch and so on and so forth. But they're just not doing a good job. Like, the whole last episode was about how, like, um, a naked picture of the girl got leaked. Mm -hmm. And um, in s so, like, 
they spent a majority of the episode, the two of them, like, hiding out in a cabin in the woods, just, like, making out. And I'm like, why do I want to watch this? <laughs> like, I would rather watch some, like, I would rather watch my toenails dry. Um, yeah. And then it just, like, it doesn't have that thing that draws you in. Yeah, I feel like it shouldn't have, she shouldn't have said yes right away. Exactly. She like, like, I should uh, think about it. Exactly. Also, I don't really like the actress who plays the lead girl, Megan. She just kind of bothers me. Wow. Um, I don't know. She just, like, isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because she's untalented. Right. Yes. That's why I hate untalented people. It really just <laughs> grinds my gears. No. Um, she just, like... She is. I just don't think she's portraying this character well, and I don't know if it's her or if it's the writing. But again, it's just it just seems so nonchalant. Like, yes, I will sign away my life to like marry this guy. Like, no. If even if Zac Efron came up to me right now and was like, "Can we have a contract marriage?" I'd be like, first, let me kiss your face. <laughs> Second, I need some time to think. That's yeah, the right? rest of my freaking life. And I go and get to my parents. Like, can I still have the job that I want? Do I have to move? Exactly. And there's, like, all these things in the contract that she didn't even know about. And so, like, what happened at the end of the last episode is that um, after, like, these naked photos got leaked, some part of, not the contract for her marriage, but the contract for the movie that her and her future husband were doing together, there was, like, a clause saying that she has to, like, be a good person. And when the naked photos got leaked, they were like, yeah, sorry, you don't get the role anymore. So now, the main reason why she was in this marriage for this role, she doesn't even get to have anymore. I don't really know who created the idea for this show. The problem is that it's, like, not an awful idea. Like, no, it just needs more planning. Exactly. I feel like they just got a contract, and they were like, oh, God, we have to write something. Right yes. Now. They were like, they got a contract, and then they are like, oh, nice, we got a contract. And then they came and crushed it up, and they were like, no. Like, okay, right on the spot. Let's go. <laughs> it's all going to be improv right now. Exactly. But, yeah, so that's my review. Um, we're going to take a little break, play mm -hmm. a couple songs for you. And then we'll be back. I have my top ten, and Marissa's going to find out who her celebrity boyfriend is. Ooh. Ooh. All right, we'll be back.